First up tonight, the northern lights can be seen right now in Connecticut. Look at these stunning pictures we are getting into the newsroom. In fact, they can be seen as far south as Alabama in our country right now. Thanks for joining us on Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Stephanie Simone. The geomagnetic storm causing all of this, and it is the strongest of its kind since 2003. Channel 3's Bryant Reed joins us live in Hartford with more on the possible impacts tonight. Bryant. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, those pictures are stunning, aren't they? You can see them in different parts of Connecticut, but right now you can't exactly see them here in Hartford, probably because it's too bright right now. But those same northern lights that we typically see in Finland, Sweden, and Iceland, well, they decided to take a little weekend vacation here in Connecticut. Now, they're caused by a powerful solar storm that is extremely rare and doesn't happen very often at all. But scientists warn there are some precautions that come along with it. If you have the chance this Friday and Saturday nights and into the early morning hours, look to the skies. You just might see the beautiful aurora of the northern lights. The powerful solar phenomena, a geomagnetic storm, is happening. It's uncommon enough to be considered rare. A geomagnetic storm is just a disturbance of the Earth's magnetic field. So we know the Earth has a magnetic field, which is why we can use a compass to find a direction. And when that magnetic field is disturbed, we just call it a geomagnetic storm. And in most cases, this happens because of solar phenomena, like the one we are expecting. Don't mistake its beauty for the chaos it can cause, though. Connecticut State Emergency Management Director says they're prepared for its effects. The big thing that we're keeping an eye on is the potential impacts to our utility grid. Out of five on a geomagnetic scale, NOAA has ranked this storm as the highest it can go as a G5 and labeled it extreme. The storm, born out of an eruption of solar material or solar flares, the magnetic pull could affect GPS, satellites, and power grids. But we also don't want anybody to panic. You know, we're not sounding an alarm here. Uh, you know, there is the potential that there could be some power outages, but, you know, again, we're, we're not... Uh, concerned about that at this point, but it never hurts to just take the time to make sure that you and your family, you know, are prepared like any storm and, and have a plan if the power were to go out and make sure that you have a plan in place for your, you know, to take care of your family through through the event. The last time an event of this magnitude happened was in 2005, and scientists say they don't know when it will happen again because they're just too unpredictable. Now, if you really want to see those lights like a lot of us do, experts say try going to the darkest place you know with very minimal light pollution, and then you might just be able to experience the one-of-a-kind event. In Harvard tonight, Brian Reed, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.